Welcome back. So this is part two. If you haven't seen the first part, I got this 1947 Monarch and I'm taking parts off of it and trying to use them to create a knife that is designed to sort of showcase the concept or the way that the car looked. We've already got the blade established and we're starting in with the handles. So after the excitement of getting the car up and designing the knife yesterday, I woke up this morning and was like, do you actually have material to make the guard and the handle? We got the blade. So I'm trying to figure that out now. I'm gonna keep looking on the car. I'm wondering if I can use the visor from the top of the car. It's some kind of composite material. Let's cut it apart and see what it looks like. It's really hard to say what that material is. It cuts surprisingly tough, but I'm wondering if I could just use it as a scale. I think it'd be pretty cool. So I didn't really know what to do, so I just decided to throw it up on top of the forge to let it dry. I turn around and Peter drops by and we get talking. But then my idea right now is to actually try. So this, Peter and I were just bouncing back and forth on different ideas for the handle. And then he had the idea to look in the trunk for some material. Sometimes they have like a, a wooden insert. Here. Oh, no way. There you go. So if we can stabilize that wood, oh. put it back together, we can get a handle out of that. I've got the handle here <laughs> to see if it's long enough to... Get one shot out of it? No. No, no, but look, the line, see that straight line? Yeah. Right here? Originally I was going to put metal down there. We'd be really smoking close. Oh man, I don't know, Pete. That's so cool though. Such a good idea. had one more possibility for a handle and decided just to cut the material out so that I could get on the table and do a final conclusion which avenue I want to go for this thing. Oh, oh come on! Oh, I dropped the piece that was so delicately trying to get out. So that's an option for handle. That's option, I guess, two. The original concept was to use this stuff, which I've dried. And Peter tipped me off to this piece of wood in the trunk which is another pretty good option. Not quite sure, so I'm gonna think about what I wanna do. I can kinda of go down three different avenues. I have decided to try to utilize this material and we're gonna to try to use this Monarch 1947 and embed that into the handle. I'm gonna introduce some foreign material, some new material, which is gonna be some epoxy. Thought about it quite a bit, I think this will just allow me to incorporate more of the car overall. So that's the route we're gonna go. So I'm gonna sit down here and sort of start taking this apart and playing with the spacing and parts off of this. So I was able to take the dash off of the steel part. It was held together with this wire mesh on the back, which if it was clean, it would have looked really good, but I just felt like it was too grungy. And so that's why I'm cutting all the individual rubber parts out. So this piece of wood, it's just gonna be a sacrificial part. There's, that's not gonna be part of the project at the end of the day, but I've traced my handle and then I put a grid system on it. And then I'm gonna take each one of these parts. These are the dash here. We're gonna glue it on, glue it onto the wood. And then this is gonna go into a box so that then I could pour the epoxy on it. This is all just a way to hold these all where I need them to be. Just setting up here for the epoxy pour. This is just a weight to hold the wood down, hopefully from floating.
All right, epoxy is dry. Let's cut this apart and see how it all looks. I have sanded the wood away. This side is square, this side is not. You won't be able to, oh yeah, you can see it on camera. So what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try to send this through the planer. And I feel very nervous about this idea. No, 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 abort the plaid, abort the plaid. So this, is, this is half of it. And that's definitely a no-go, good thing. Good thing that was a test piece. Woo! So here's what's happening is I've got these guys sanded down to the point that they're ready to attach on. I need some pins. Pins for this and pins for the bolster. So what I'm thinking about doing, this is the car seat here. I gotta use this for the pins. Either I'm gonna straighten out one of these guys or I'll just use one of the straight, oh this is, uh, yeah, or I'll just use one of, one of these guys. That's a little bigger than I was hoping in diameter, but uh, work with what you got, eh? I'm gonna start working on the uh, guard here, which is this piece. And I want that to be out of aluminum or pot metal. And so I've got to find that material. So I'm going to start looking for any pot metal that I can use to remelt to make this guard. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, that's good. So these are all my bits and bobs that I have found that we're gonna to try to remelt into a block to make the guard. I dramatically underestimated how much we need. It's going good, but this big chunk here, I think, I think it's uh, pot metal. So we're gonna take it off and see. Oh yeah! That's a good start. We found a bit of a technique here that uh, the chrome is so thick you can actually kind of smelt, slide out the pot metal. Okay, that's a perfect shot. So this piece here has got the chrome on it. And Pete's just, just easing it up and you can see it's melting out of the bottom. And then you don't get all that nasty zinc burning chrome garbage. I will. No, it looks... Happy? Guys, check out what Pete brought in today. So you just throw your junk in there, and gold, silver, pop metal, apparently. Is this the Crucible? That's or? the Crucible. That's just... This is the brand new one? Yeah, that's just graphite. Oh my goodness, this looks super expensive. No. That is gonna be so sweet. Yeah, and handy. So this is all the material here that we were able to yield yesterday. Should have brought my scale, but... It should be enough. Can we open up? We just just started this process, so there's not too much to see here. It's just starting to gas. Yeah. And then uh, 
This is gonna be the mold we've made up, so this should get me my two bolsters out of it. And this is the material that we have to still melt down. And hopefully, it's enough. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be... Uh, leaving more chromium. Well, I've pretty much picked her clean. Oh, sweet, look at that. It's almost a full crucible. That's so cool. Is it three quarter inch? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. All right, we're gonna make our guard out of that. Super, super fun to have this coming together. The handle is becoming my most favorite part about this knife. This is dried up now. We are fully glued. And now we get to have the fun of sculpting the handle, the epoxy. Just doing the final cleanup here and then you gotta check this thing out. This is so sweet.
so shiny when you bring it out to the sun. It is crazy cool. See you in the next one. Till then, keep the fortune light.